if you're someone that's looking to enhance your overall gaming or streaming performance while playing directly from your console then you're going to want to get a capture card and so that is why nearstream has sent us over one of their capture cards for us to be able to test out and so today i'm going to be providing you with all of the specs as well as some in-game footage utilizing this capture card so that way you can see if this is worth adding into your gaming setups now going straight to the unboxing the nearstream capture card does come with a few essentials and so straight out of the box you get the capture card itself the user manual the hdmi cable cord as well as the USB-C to USB connection cord. Now, taking a look at the capture card itself, you are provided with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for both your headphones as well as your microphone. So that way you can both hear and talk through the capture card. You are also provided with a USB-C cable ports for turning on the capture card. And you are also provided with the HDMI out ports as well as the in ports for you to be able to plug your HDMI cords into your monitor or TV, as well as to the back of your console. Now, just like every other capture card, if you wanna be able to connect this, you're gonna take the provided HDMI cable cord and plug that into an available HDMI output that's on the back of your console. You are then gonna take the opposite end and plug that into an available HDMI in port that's on your capture card. You are then gonna plug in the available USB-C cable cord into the capture card and then plug the opposite end into an available USB 3.0 slot on the back of your laptop or your PC. Now, if you wanna be able to play your games directly from your monitor or your TV, then you're gonna plug an additional HDMI cable cord into the HDMI out port that's on the capture card and then plug the opposite end into the HDMI in port that's on your TV or your monitor. Now, moving on to the specs, this card does support Mac as well as Windows devices and you'll be able to connect your Xbox, your PlayStation, your Nintendo Switch, PC, and even your DSLR cameras to this capture card. But unfortunately, it does not support mobile devices like cell phones or tablets. However, this does support HDMI pass-through resolutions up to 1440p 120 FPS, as well as 4K 60 FPS, which means that you'll be able to play at super high quality to both your TV and your monitors, but the only downside is that you will only be able to capture your gameplay at 1080p 60 FPS. Now, if you wanna be able to stream in 4K 60 FPS, the Nearstream does offer a upgraded version of this capture card that supports 4K capture for $80 more. And so if you wanna be able to get that, I will make sure I put a link to it down in the description below of today's video. Now to set up the capture card for streaming or recording, what you're gonna do is open up your streaming software such as OBS or Streamlabs OBS. You are then gonna come down to your sources and you're gonna click on the plus icon and you're gonna select the video capture device. From here, you're gonna name this whatever you like. I'm gonna do capture card. And you are then going to look for the near stream capture card. Once you select it, you should see the preview menu pop up right here. You are then going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you're going to add in your audio. So you're going to come down to audio output mode. You're going to select the box right here that says use custom audio device. You will see that a new audio has came up right here and you're just going to click OK. And so now you have your audio. You can adjust this inside of your settings, which by the way, I do have a full video showing you how to set up your audio properly inside of OBS if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. But once you have that set, you are now officially good to go to start recording as well as streaming. And so now I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple games so that way I can show you exactly what this card can do.
Now, I have reviewed other capture cards on this channel before, and they've all performed pretty well, and Nearstream's capture card is no exception. While I was utilizing this capture card, the gameplay felt extremely smooth. I was not able to experience any type of latency that hindered any of my gameplay performance. And so because of that, I was able to play games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, and other competitive games without experiencing really any input delay. And so I do think that if you get this capture card, you should not experience any issues either. Now, the only thing that I would say is that I wish that Nearstream had an application specifically for their capture card so that way you can not only play, but you can also test out as well as adjust any type of settings directly from the preview menu or from the application instead of putting it inside of OBS first and then setting it up that way. Now, if you're okay with capturing your gameplay at 1080p and if you're thinking about getting this capture card, then Nearstream does have it priced at $54 and I will have a link to it directly in the description below. However, if you do want to get this big brother, which does capture in 4K 60 FPS, it is going to be, as I mentioned earlier, $80 more. And so that's sitting around $134. And I will also make sure that I have a link to that one as well in the description below of today's video. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the Nearstream capture card down in the comments below. And so once again, thank you so much Nearstream for sending me out this capture card. I really did enjoy reviewing this. And so if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you guys wanna see more reviews just like this, Make sure you click on this playlist right here and I'll catch you in the next video as well as in the comments below. Have a wonderful day, guys.